हाय फ्रेंड वेलकम अगेन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑक्सीटर वी नो दैट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिवाइस इज यूज जनरली ऑन डीसी सोर्स बट वी नीड सम फ्रीक्वेंसी टू ऑपरेट सम डिवाइसेस and the frequency should be also high but we provides the power to our electronics devices with the help of dc source then it's become necessary to generate the frequency so we will use oscillator we can say that a circuit used to generate alternating voltage from dc supply is known as oscillator so in simple form with the help of diagram i'm going to describe this is our oscillator we are providing input from a dc source and here we are getting AC output. Frequency for DC input F or nu is zero, and in AC output, frequency is not zero. There is a constant frequency for the AC output. So we can say that oscillator is a device which is used to generate the frequency. with the help of no frequency signal or dc signal just now we will consider a tank circuit tank circuit or tuned circuit or lc tank circuit in this circuit i have taken a capacitor of value c and an inductor of value l in this way let upper plate of capacitor consist positive charge and lower plate of capacitor consist negative charge initially capacitor has charge and inductor has no any energy stored inside the inductor so electric field inside the capacitor is from positive terminal to positive plate to negative plate so 
let this is plate A and this is plate B, then electron from plate B starts to move towards plate A through the circuit in this combination and in this case when electron is moving from point B to point A, so that is why current is flowing in clockwise direction. When current starts flow in clockwise direction, in that case we are getting an output that this is our positive direction, so that is why we are getting a current in this way. The amount of current will be increased and then after some time it will lose its energy so current will be 0 and this is time dependent current provided by the capacitor so there will be change in the current so that is why magnetic field developed inside the inductor is also being changed. So, that is why it will cause an induced EMF having positive polarity on this terminal on this side and negative on lower side and capacitor will be discharged. In that case, inductor will provide energy to the capacitor and capacitor will be reversely charged then current will be flow in this way anti clockwise. So, we will get reverse current that will be increased with some time and again it will be decreases to the 0. So, we are getting this current. Continuously again the capacitor will be charged and inductor will be lose inductor will lose its energy. So, that is why again current will be like the first way in positive direction and continuously in second way. So, here we are seeing that the static energy is provided to the capacitor in initial case and when it is connected with the inductor. So, the energy is being transferred to the inductor and inductor to capacitor and again capacitor to inductor. So, a re alternating current is flowing through this circuit. Now, during this process there is some loss of the energy also. In case of in case of no resistance in this conductive path we are getting a constant output voltage. This is undamped signal. This is undamped oscillation provided by this capacitor and this inductor. So, we are getting the frequency in our output signal measured across capacitor and or across the inductor, but any conductor is not able to conduct completely. So, that is why the output will be decreases due to the loss of energy in the conductive path. So, initial output will be high and again lower it becomes low than its previous value then the amount of output will be decreases with loss of energy in the resistance and this kind of damping is known as under damp. It means that some energy is being lost inside the resistance, so the output is under damped signal. Here we have used inductor and capacitor, so there will be some phase of output and input and the frequency. So, resonant frequency for working this inductor and capacitor without resistance
in its path frequency natural damping frequency will be 1 upon 2 pi square root of L into C where L is the inductance of inductor and C is the capacitance of capacitor. But, but it is our ideal case in which we have considered that the conductor has no resistance in practical every conductor has their resistance so natural frequency is given as 1 upon 2 pi square root of 1 upon lc minus square of resistance divided by 4l Now, in case of parallel combination of inductor and capacitor having resistance capital R, the impedance at the time of resonance in parallel RLC circuit at resonance impedance provided by the circuit is L upon C R. So, without any resistance inside the path natural damping frequency natural frequency by the circuit is 1 upon 2 pi under root L C and when there is resistance inside conductor so the frequency will be 1 upon 2 pi square root of 1 upon lc minus r square upon 4l and impedance at the resonance condition will be l upon cr so the signal which amplitude is less in the beginning but but it increases with the time this is known as over damped signal this is over damped when amplitude decreases with the time so it is known as underdamped and when output is constant fluctuating to its maximum and minimum amplitude then it is known as undamped. output. So, in all these three signals there is frequency generated by the <coughs> LC circuit. Next point is classification of oscillator. When we have considered about the classification of amplifier, in that case the it is dependent on the different different points. First we will consider the method of production of oscillation. By which method we are pro providing the oscillation then it is classified in two category. First one is positive feedback
oscillator and second one is negative feedback oscillator and other way of classification of oscillator is on the basis of waveform generated by the oscillator on this basis it is classified in two way sinusoidal or harmonic oscillator and dusra second one is non sinusoidal or relaxation oscillator relaxation oscillator and classification on the best basis of frequency it is classified on classified in other different terms first one is audio frequency oscillator which is known as af oscillator second one is radio frequency oscillator known as rf oscillator third is very high frequency oscillator vh f o very high frequency oscillator next is ultra high frequency uhf oscillator and microwave oscillator microwave AF oscillator is used for audio frequency that's mean 20 to 20 kilohertz. Radio frequency oscillator is used for 20 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. 20 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. VHF very high frequency oscillator is used to 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz ultra high frequency oscillator is used for 300 megahertz to 30 3 gigahertz and in case of microwave oscillator the frequency is used for 3 gigahertz to several gigahertz that's mean to several several gigahertz so oscillator is classified on three category first one is type of feedback on the basis of feedback second is wave form
and third is production of frequency so on the basis of feedback that is of two type positive feedback oscillator and negative feedback oscillator on the basis of wave form oscillator is of two type sinusoidal or harmonic and non sinusoidal or relaxation type of oscillator and on the basis of frequency it is of audio frequency oscillator rf oscillator radio frequency oscillator vhf very high frequency oscillator uhf ultra high frequency oscillator and microwave oscillator in positive feedback oscillator we will use positive feedback for the oscillations in negative feedback oscillator we will use negative type of feedback sinusoidal or harmonic oscillator are those oscillator which produces the sinusoidal waveform non sinusoidal oscillators are those oscillator which cannot produce the sinusoidal waveform af oscillator is used for audio frequency generation rf oscillator is used for radio frequency generation that's mean the frequency between 20 kilohertz to 3 30 megahertz if oscillator is used for generation of 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz signal in that case the oscillator is known as ultra high frequency oscillator when any oscillator is able to generate 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz then the oscillator is known as ultra high frequency and if oscillator is able to produce 3 gigahertz to several gigahertz frequency then it is known as microwave oscillator so in this lecture we have discussed about oscillator and type of wave form that's mean on damped wave form by oscillator over damped wave form produced by oscillator and under damped wave form produced by oscillator and tuned circuit or tank circuit and then followed by the classification of oscillator on three basis feedback wave form and frequency of the oscillator thank you we will discuss other points of oscillator in our next lecture thanks for your support